everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Sunday meal prep video. This week on the menu, I'm planning on stuffed French toast for breakfast prep. And for lunch prep, I'm going to do chicken teriyaki with rice and vegetables. And then dinners this week, I only have two dinners to prepackage. The other dinners really don't need any prepackaging. So if you're new to my channel, I currently follow the WW Blue program, but I will provide you with the points for all three programs. Also, any recipes on my website, planningushealthy.com, will list the nutritional values. So if you're not doing WW, which is formerly Weight Watchers, then you can find the nutritional facts there as well. I meal prep breakfast and lunch for my husband and I, so I'm making usually six breakfast and six lunches sometimes like days like today I will be making eight breakfasts and then for the dinners I am basically just pre-packaging them it's kind of like the home delivery dinner kits I just do them myself also my meal preps are just meant as a guide some people don't like to eat the same things for three days in a row I'm just giving you ideas of how you can meal prep how you can you know plan your week and prep everything but you sure don't have to do it exactly the way I'm doing I'm just sharing with you how I do it so if you want to see how I meal prep breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks for my husband and I, then stay with me. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Christy, and I'm planning us healthy. So I'm going to start with breakfast because this actually has to bake for 55 minutes. So this recipe is stuffed French toast and this is a meal prep that I got off of a, re a website called Meal Prep on Fleek. I never heard of that before and came across this and thought I would try it. So this is going to be three points on blue, four points on green, and three points on purple. I'm going to double this recipe. The recipe on the website is for four. So I'm going to double it and make eight breakfasts. So we're actually going to have breakfast this week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So for this one, it actually calls for raspberries and blueberries but you can use anything you want. So I'm using raspberries, blackberries, and blueberries. And what I've done is measured out one and a half cups. It's three quarters of a cup for each four servings. So as I said, I'm doubling it. So I've measured out one and a half cups and then I'm gonna save these. I'm gonna stick these back in my fridge and I'm gonna just use these, you know, just to put around the French toast after it's done when I put it in the containers. So what I've done is taken two nine by nine inch baking dishes and I've sprayed them generously with olive oil spray. You can actually use parchment paper or something if you'd prefer. Then we're gonna take four slices of bread and I'm using one point bread. This is the 40 calorie bread that I get from Aldi. Sometimes whole wheat bread doesn't work as well, but that's what I have, that's what I'm using, so it should be okay. And you do have to kind of overlap them a little bit. Okay, then we're gonna set those aside. I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees. Now we're gonna take a bowl and I want eight ounces of non-fat yogurt. The recipe actually calls for Greek yogurt, but when I did my Aldi Instacart, they brought me regular plain yogurt. You can use this, but it is not, there's more moisture. So this may make the bread a little bit more soggier. I would say to definitely use Greek, or if you have a coffee filter, you could kind of strain some of the liquid, just pour it into a coffee, put a coffee filter over a bowl. I don't have a coffee filter or I'd do it. Put a coffee filter over a bowl and pour your yogurt in there and just put it in the fridge for a couple hours and it usually will pull some of the water out of there. But I'm just gonna use it this way. So I need eight ounces. So if you're just making the four servings, then you just want four ounces. All right. The next thing we need is two teaspoons. If you're using just the four servings, you want two teaspoons of vanilla. Since I'm doubling it, I'm using four teaspoons. And then 
then for the double is going to be two eggs. And then I am using some stevia packets. The recipe calls for, for the four servings is one eighth of a teaspoon, or you can replace it with two tablespoons of granulated sweetener. So I have here four tablespoons. That seems like a lot, but I'm gonna go with what the recipe calls for. And then just stir that all up. baking dishes back and we're just going to pour this right over the top so try and just split it evenly between the two if you're using Greek yogurt you probably have to use a spoon it's not going to pour as easily because it's thicker Toss the berries. We want three quarter, about three quarters of a cup over each one. And then we're going to put the rest of the bread on top. And just kind of press the bread down. Set those aside again. Now we're going to take another bowl. And in this one, we want one cup of almond, unsweetened almond milk if you're using the four servings, or two cups if you're doubling it like I am. And then we're going to need one cup of egg whites, or half a cup if you're just doing the four. Two teaspoons of cinnamon, or one teaspoon if you're just doing the four. One teaspoon of vanilla or half a teaspoon if you're doing the four, and I need to get some more. Okay, and then the directions say that it, you need to put the almond milk, the egg whites, the vanilla, the cinnamon, and the salt in there. But I don't see any salt in the recipe ingredients, so I'm just gonna add just a little bit of salt. And then just mix that up. And get our dishes again and we're going to pour half of this over it and as you can see a lot of my cinnamon is sticking to the bowl so just try to make sure you get all that cinnamon out there we go now you want to take a spatula and just kind of push it all down just push it all down right into the liquid okay now we're gonna bake it in a 350 degree oven for 55 minutes. It doesn't say to cover it or anything. We're just going to bake it this way. Okay, I'll get that in the oven and then we'll get started on lunch prep. All right, 
moving on to lunch prep. This is the chicken teriyaki with rice and vegetables. For this one, I'm using broccoli, fresh broccoli, and I'm also using a bag of sugar snap peas. And I'm gonna just steam these in the microwave first. So this is the sugar snap peas. I'm just using a bag that size. I'm just adding those myself. One of the other things I'm adding that is not called for in this recipe is some mushrooms, just because I have some mushrooms that I wanna use up. So I have those cooking on the burner right now. And I'm gonna cut up six scallions or green onions. The other thing I'm using for this, this is pretty much all zero points for blue and purple, except for the rice. So if you choose not to have rice, then this would be completely zero points for blue and purple. And if you use brown rice, then it would be zero points for purple. And then for green, it just depends on how much you, how much chicken you use. I am using about two pounds. The recipe actually calls for one and a half pounds, but I'm gonna use two pounds since we're on blue and chicken is zero points for us. It's just gonna add a little bit. Just chop those up real good. Okay, so I'm gonna get my broccoli and peas steaming. So I have them all cut up and I've just filled some water just to the bottom, maybe like a quarter of the way up. And I'm just gonna cover it with paper towel and put it in the microwave for about five minutes. Okay, the next thing I have is my chicken and I also have some garlic. I have two cloves of garlic that I've already minced up and then I have my chicken. So this was a big package of chicken and what I did is I needed two chicken breasts for the dinner that we're gonna be having one night this week. We're gonna be doing chicken parm sandwiches. So I'm gonna be using those. So what I did is just took those out and then I cut up the rest for this. So that's why it came to almost two pounds, not quite two pounds. So these chicken breasts I'm actually going to put in a bag and those are going to be set aside for the night that we have that dinner. All right, so I've sprayed my pan. I have a skillet that I've sprayed with cooking spray. And this is actually a Weight Watchers recipe. It's really bringing out a lot of water in that, those mushrooms. This is actually a Weight Watchers recipe. It was on the WW app. The recipe actually calls for getting your pan hot and then cooking the uh, garlic and then adding the chicken. But if you've watched me for some time, you know that I don't like to add my garlic early because I don't like it when it gets that burnt taste. So I'm just going to add my chicken and I'll add the garlic after. Alright, so just add in the chicken and I've already cut it into chunks. Just cut it into like bite sized pieces. Point, you can add seasoning, salt, pepper, whatever you whatever seasonings you want. I'm going to add some Himalayan pink salt and some pepper. In the meantime, I'm going to make my rice. So I have one and a half cups of water. I want to make three cups of rice. So I'm going to use this jasmine rice. This is actually two points for half a cup cooked. So that's the only point that I'll be using in this for blue. I was knocked down, heard the countdown through the haze in the face of defeat. Yeah. I was real down when the bell rang. Okay, after those have been cooking, now I'm going to add the garlic and the green onion. Mix that up. The next thing we're going to need is three quarters of a cup of chicken broth. The recipe that I'm doing is for six servings. So the recipe on the WW Actually, I don't think I got it off the app. I think we got it off Weight Watchers website. Their recipe is for a serving of four. So I'm using three quarters of a cup of chicken broth. And to that, I'm going to add three tablespoons of teriyaki sauce. So 
and then just set that aside. And my rice is done. I'm just going to put a top on that. Actually, let me get it off the hot burner. Cook in the chicken. You can cook it to your liking. I actually like mine browned. If you watch me, you know that I kind of like to, I don't know, I guess maybe overcook a little bit. Okay, the chicken is cooked. Now we're going to add the chicken broth and teriyaki sauce. So we're going to let that cook through, and the sauce should reduce by about half. Now, at this point, I'm going to add my mushrooms. Again, that's totally optional. I just had some left that I didn't want to go to waste. Okay, so that's it. So I'm going to set these aside, let them cool down. We still have some time on the breakfast, so I'm going to go ahead and start with my dinner kits. I only have two dinner kits to do, so by the time I get done with those, everything should be ready for us to portion, and I'll show you how we do that. All right, we're gonna move on to dinner. So if you're new to my channel, this is all I do. I'm just making dinner kits. I'm not cooking everything like I do the breakfast and lunch. Just makes it easier because I have everything all portioned out and ready to go for the night that I cook it. And each kit is enough for two, for my husband and I, except one night I'm gonna make the chicken parm sandwiches. I'm actually doing a serving of four that night. So I'm going to start with the garlic parmesan pork chops. For this night, I'm gonna have cucumbers with them. I'm just gonna do cut up cucumbers with Olive Garden light dressing. So I'm just gonna throw those in the bottom of the bag. And again, no cutting or washing today. I'm then gonna have mashed potatoes with these. I actually was gonna use the instant mashed potatoes, but I decided to just make my own mashed potatoes. So I'm gonna just throw those in there. I have about three quarters of a pound of mashed potatoes. And then I have two five ounce pork chops. These are actually still frozen. I just took them out of my freezer. So I'm just gonna put those in there and they'll unthaw in my fridge. And then the other thing I need is the topping. This is actually, the garlic parmesan is actually what I usually use for my salmon recipe. So I'm gonna try it on the pork chops. I think it's gonna be pretty good. And so what I've done is I just combine everything for the topping. So in this container, I have one tablespoon of light butter. And then in this container, I have an eighth of a cup of grated Parmesan and an eighth of a cup of panko breadcrumbs, eighth of a cup of seasoned breadcrumbs and a half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. And then that's gonna go in there. And then the other thing I need is a garlic clove. So I just put it in there like that and then I'll cut it up the night we have it. So that's all I do. That's it for the dinner kits. So that is that night. And this is gonna be 10 blue, 10 green, and seven purple. And that's for everything that's in the kit. So I already know I can pre-track if I want to. So I'm gonna set that just aside because this one's gonna be super quick. This one is chicken parm sandwich. This is actually a recipe that I got from a Weight Watchers cookbook. This is the My WW Program cookbook and the recipe is in there. I did find it online though, so I will link it down in the description box below. But it looks so good and it is uh, eight points on green, seven points on blue, and seven points on purple. So for this one, I'm gonna serve this with a side salad. I'm not gonna put all the salad ingredients together in that, I'll make that the night we have it. I don't usually know what I'm gonna put in my salad until the night I eat it anyway. So I have in here, I have about a pound of chicken and basically it's just the chicken that I showed you earlier. As you saw, I had two fillets, so I'll cut each fillet in half so that would make, it'll make four sandwiches. And then, I have a half a cup of, you need a half a cup of low fat marinara sauce. I'm actually using Prego spaghetti sauce. And then we need a quarter of a cup of Parmesan cheese, a quarter of a cup of mozzarella, uh, part skin mozzarella, which I'm actually using part 2% Mexican because I didn't have any mozzarella. And then this is the topping that you dip the chicken in. So in here is one tablespoon plus one teaspoon of red wine vinegar, one tablespoon of olive oil, one tablespoon of water, 
a garlic clove that I crushed through a garlic press, half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter of a teaspoon of oregano, and a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper. So just mix that all together, put that in there. And then finally, six tablespoons of Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. And then the other thing that you can put on it is arugula, which I don't have. Uh, I'll get some of that later in the week because I think that would be really good on it. And then you just use a whole piece of whole wheat bread. They don't actually make a sandwich out of it. It's kind of like an open face sandwich. So it only has one piece of bread per sandwich. So there's no top piece. So I'm not gonna put the bread in here, obviously. And then you can also use red pepper flakes if you want. So that's it for that one. And then the other nights for dinner, I'm trying trout because they give me trout instead of salmon. I think I'm just gonna use some base seasoning with that. So nothing too pre-packaged because I'm using frozen Brussels sprouts and I'm gonna have it with the 90 second microwave rice. So no pre-packaging there. One night I'm having homemade turkey and ham subs, no pre-packaging there. And Friday night, I don't pre-package out that far. We're probably gonna do homemade burgers and steak fries. So let me get the breakfast and lunch and we'll get that portioned out. Okay, so I'm gonna portion the lunches first because the breakfast is actually still cooking. So in the bottom of each dish, I'm gonna put about a half a cup of rice. And then I'm gonna to top that with the chicken. And I'm not gonna measure out my chicken since I'm on blue. If you're on green, you would wanna probably weigh it. And then we just top it with the broccoli after that. I was knocked down, heard the countdown through the haze in the face of defeat, yeah. I was ruled out with no bailout on my own, all alone, left to bleed out. But I rose up from the ground, just like I was real bound. All the Alright, that is it. And then what I will do is I have some spray butter. I'll, the day that I cook it, I'll just spray it with some spray butter on top of the vegetables and add some salt and pepper. So I'll set those aside and now it's time to get the breakfast out. All right, everyone. I wanted to get up close and personal and show you what those look like. They smell so good. So I just took them out. So I'm gonna let those sit and cool. All right, so while the breakfast is cooling, I am going to get my syrup ready and I'm gonna cut up a cantaloupe. I planned on cantaloupe and blueberries for snacks this week, but I'm using my blueberries for the breakfast. So I'm just gonna do cantaloupe. So I'm gonna cut up some cantaloupe and I'm also going to weigh out one eighth of a cup of, I'm, this kind is log cabin sugar-free, that's all they had, that's not what I usually use, but one eighth of a cup is zero points. So I'm gonna put one eighth of a cup in these containers and because I always get asked where I get these containers, these ones I have here are from Dollar Tree and the other ones you saw me use for dinner were ones that I got in meal kits that when I've done meal kit delivery service before and also the bags that I use for the dinner kit are reusable, reusable bags that I get from Amazon. So I will link everything that I use down in the description box below as well as all the recipes. Okay, so I'm gonna get these all weighed out and then cut up my melon. I was knocked down, heard the countdown through the haze in the face of defeat, yeah. I was ruled out with no bailout on my own, all alone, left to bleed out. Okay, that's it for the melon. And we'll just munch on that throughout the week. Alright, so now I've got my berries out. Well, I guess it's not that bad. I think the Greek yogurt would probably make it a little bit thicker though. It's a little thin down there, but that's all right. So we're gonna put one piece in there and then just pour a little bit of the fruit and our syrup. 
So there is a breakfast. I don't know if you can see it, but I'll show you it when I do this spread at the end. So I'm just going to go through and portion these all out. I was knocked down, heard the countdown through the haze in the face of defeat, yeah. I was ruled out with no bail out on my own, all alone, left to bleed out. But I rose up from the ground just like a. All right, so that is it. So now I'm going to put everything out and show you what we ended up with. All right, everyone, so this is meal prep for the week. So start down here with snacks. So I always have this in my fridge, and this is just something that if we you know, just want a quick snack, then we can grab these. I have like two-point yogurts in here, two-point sugar-free puddings. Uh, I have some oranges, so that's just always in the fridge. Sometimes uh, we will do yogurt for breakfast also. So speaking of breakfast, these are the breakfasts, and they look so good. They smell so good. So again, this is a recipe from Meal Prep on Fleek. And again, I'll put all the recipes down in the description box below. This comes out to three points on blue, three points on purple, and four points on green. And then for the extra berries, of course, is zero and zero for the syrup. And then I have my cantaloupe up there that we'll just use for snacks throughout the week. Then for the lunch, we have the chicken teriyaki with vegetable and rice. And as you can see, I stirred it up. I went ahead and just stirred it all together rather than leaving everything separate. And for this, like I said, if you are on purple and you use brown rice, then this would be a zero point lunch. If you use the jasmine rice like I did, then if you're purple, it's going to be a two point lunch and blue is two point and then green i think for green just depends on the chicken that you use so based on the amount i used for green this would be a four point lunch and then the two dinners i have this week are gar garlic parmesan pork chops and mashed potatoes and cucumbers so for the whole kit is 10 points on blue 10 points on green and seven points on purple and then i have the chicken parm sandwich which is seven purple seven blue and eight green and i'm going to serve that with a side salad all right, everyone, that's it. Another week done of meal prep. So if you like this type of video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and any comments down below. If you're new, I hope that you'll consider subscribing. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you're notified anytime I upload new content. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. I'm Christy, and I'm planning us healthy.